There is another Skylander. In fact, there's quite a few of them. This is Eruptor. Born to burn, baby. Born to burn. Eruptor is a Skylander fueled by lava, heat, and aggression. He burns his enemies by launching fiery balls of lava at them. Or he can drown them in a pool of molten magma. But Eruptor's power comes at a price. Roughly about seven or eight bucks. But with that comes the real life action figure, which looks nice as you can see here. That you can play in Skylander's Spyro's Adventure, the video game. Here's another adventure. The adventure to collect all of the Skylanders. I can't believe how popular these things are. We keep getting bombed with requests to review all of the Skylanders figures. So in between Sega Genesis and Vectrex reviews, I guess I'll be doing that. Eruptor looks extremely powerful, but the fact is, until you upgrade this guy, he's actually kind of weak. And this is the first time I took a brand new Skylander into a more challenging level, and Eruptor got his lava butt handed to him. Ah, Skylander failure! Fortunately, your real-life plastic action figure doesn't explode. You just have to remove them from the portal of power and sit them in the corner, which is like a silent punishment. Eruptor was benched in favor of Whirlwind, who was later defeated and replaced by Terrafin, who was defeated and replaced by someone else, and then Spyro. There's two ways that you can look at this as you progress through the game. Either level your characters up, collecting all of the treasure and buying new abilities, or you could just buy 30 Skylanders and have them spread out in your coffee table ready for action. Eruptor is fun to play with, but like a lot of the slower, more powerful figures, such as Terrafin, he doesn't get really good until you sufficiently level him up and increase his power. But if you're looking for a little ball of fiery hate, Eruptor is the Skylander for you! It's Eruptor, a fire lava based Skylander. You can find him wherever Skylanders are sold. But whatever you do, don't try to download him. He will get stuck in your 28-8 uh, modem. I'll see you back here in part 5 of the Skylanders Spyro's Adventure review. Unless you're trying to watch this on a 2400 baud modem, in which case I bet it doesn't play.